over here at the south, representing Star Tail. Star Tail Pokyoki. Bomber. And now to the far right, our Zerg. I am Lucida. And there's his team looking on. Nesty is drawing squares for our MVP. So this is a square. MVP is like, oh, okay. That's how I click my mutas so they don't die to your Thors. <laughs> That's how you do it. Oh my god, now I've spilled my coffee. <laughs> We are messy guys. Why are we splitting stuff on our desk today? All right, so I want to point out right now that uh, Bomber has excellent positions for two barracks play. Yes. So if that is what he's chosen to do. Well, really, for any play, this is the best positions you can hope for in Terran Resurg on this map. So that is an actually great thing for Bomber. Now, oh, the placement of that, that makes, makes me think, think, think it's not, it's not going to be two yeah. barracks. He would have put it up to the right or down and to the left, I Could, think. Could we see uh, Thor and or Tank draw to take out the hatchery of Lucira? I don't know, Tasteless. We'll see if you just hold your horses. I just got to settle on... Whoa, look at those fingers go. Yeah, actually... Uh, that was pretty... That was pretty... I've, I've watched him play standing behind him, and he actually... There's spamming, and then there's spamming. Looked like he was playing Beat Mania. <laughs> yeah, it's... This guy is a clickety clacker on his keyboard, man. If I've ever seen a You're a good clacker. StarCraft player. And when you hit those keys, that ought to sound like a, a horse running on marble. That's right. Unless you have one of those silent touch keyboards. That's not what real men use. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I, want, I want people in the room to know some serious APM is going down. Yep. Uh, you know, this build is just so odd by Bomber. It really looks like he's just going to go one barracks expansion now. He's just not done anything oh. except made. He screwed up, actually. He wow. should have to kill that drone. Sierra is he going to just dance to know that he's seen all this. He knows what's going on. He's like, oh, no gases? In case my cliff ain't getting dropped? Okay, so you either have a hidden barracks or you're making a command center. That's all I needed to know. And the drone then checks himself out, man. Says, peace. Yeah, he says, all right, that's it. There it is. But Lucira already knows. Now he is making some good amount of zerglings right now. This is this is kind of cool. He's you already know at what? six. He might, he might wait try for to... speed and try to break through. Well, you know, he might want to do something risky because he says, well, it's Bomber. This is the only real if major threat to our team. Yeah. If Lucira takes out Bomber, man. Oh, wow. Bomber. Looking like he's in some trouble, Tasteless. Oh, no! Losing that many Marines right now and is you know he's, huge. Is Zerg continuing to make Zerglings? No. He's making drones. No, he's, he's switched over to drones completely at this point, which is awesome as well. He's not just going to all in it. He's because, you know, obviously right now we see Bomber is panicking a little bit and walling that all in. Now, I want to explain to you guys exactly what just happened because this makes a huge difference on the whole game. He scouted everything again. He's killed off a bunch of the early Marines. It's going to push back any pressure that can possibly happen. And here is what it is, because Lucira did this before on uh, Shakuras as well, going speed first, knowing that Bion likes to play in such a way that... And a Baneling Nest. Ooh, we might see some high economy Baneling aggression. That's interesting. Um, he sees the tech lab on the SCV. Did the SCV see the uh, Baneling? I will check. Yes. It no. did not see the Baneling Nest. All right, so I want to go back and just discuss that a little bit more. Bomber's build, you might be like, well, that's just so open. Every top-level Zerg in Korea goes hatchery first on this map. It's a metagame build to just go one barracks expand, knowing that your opponent knows how to hold a two barracks push. So it was a very metagamey thing, and basically Lucira outthought him. He went a level up, and it looks like it's going to just be an all-in from here. Oh my! You know, there is just a tech lab there. Stim is not done. There's not a lot of Marines. This may end up working, Tasteless. Oh my! Oh man! What is going on, man? I am. Their decisions are out of the world. Not this world, but the world overall. <laughs> now, he doesn't have any uh, bunkers down there. This would be such a smart move if the coach advised him to just do a uh, an all-in. 
So don't worry about it. We got this. Yeah. Could be. He showed himself too soon. He has shown his banelings, but what can his opponent do? Uh -oh. oh, man. Those Marines uh -oh. do not have uh -oh. stim yet. It's only half done. The mule's coming up. Siege Tank doing a great, 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 great ah! job. Oh, my God. Bombers. More circlings and banes. Keeping and he's going to tear down that depot. Oh, man. This is a very difficult position. Bomber, maybe there was too much pressure on him. Oh, nice. The target fire that. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Oh, I think a, a bomber is going to get cheesed out. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. He's going to actually. actually, I, I don't know I, if he can hold on to Yeah, I, I think it might have actually spiraled out of control. Yeah, he's lost too many SCVs. Right now, his SCV count down at 11 compared to 16 drones. And, of course, he's uh, making the link stance. Oh, man. He may have, may have actually made those link stance for too long. But he's so confident at this point. You know, he has two queens. He has more drones. He should not have made those links, dance. It's true. Uh-oh. He should not have, but he I is very I can just see the coach facepalming right now. Well, Tasteless. Will Lucier continue to all in, or will he switch over? He's actually starting to drone now. So And Siege Mode is up. So, yeah, that's going to conclude the rush. You know, I, I'm completely serious. that he torn down the tech lab... He could have possibly gotten the depot, gotten yeah. in there. Yeah, that's a possibility. You know, he would have dealt a little bit more damage, and of course, that's more important than dancing. But the dancing's important as well. Dancing is important. <laughs> um, sometimes you just got to dance to express yourself. And Lucera told him they're going down with his thumb, and he's got to back up his thumb, man. His thumb's been with him since he was born. They're you tight. Dance. You know, you know so that's you know, I've been playing StarCraft all day. I'm tired. I'm like, you know, I just need to dance. Yeah. No girls. I'm just gonna go to the club and dance. There you go, man. You know, it's a night for taste. Get us let go. That's what those circlings did. So, this is actually so cool. Lucira is playing greatly again, playing the player, uh, really getting in his head, doing some awesome moves. And you know, something you said. Now, the thing is, Bomber hasn't played poorly. Uh, he just he got outthought. That's what happened. But yes, there's so much pressure on Bomber. This guy hasn't even qualified for the GSL yet. Because there's, he's actually so good, and everyone knows it. There is an unbelievable amount of pressure on him. Second baneling nest. That's funny. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, he's uh, right now making a second baneling nest. That happens sometimes when you're what? not used to playing like that, and you've done an early baneling attack. You're like, okay, here's my baneling nest timing because you go on auto drive. Yeah, I was with this. So yeah, he's actually on auto drive right now and making a second baneling nest. Well, I think nest. I think uh, Serious is just like. Oh, I sh probably should have danced because now the game's going to go on. <laughs> and I'm against Bomber. And in fact, he's going to be oh my God. facing Lucera. a strong Bomber push. Lucera's actually, in a, to a sense, putting his team at serious risk of losing. Um, yeah. Uh, I, if he loses this, I think there's going to be a rule about dancing. Counterattack. This is actually really quite interesting because this push is deadly. He has stim. There are no speed on the bane links. There is no speed on the bane links. Oh, bomber's back. It is pretty good, tasteless. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't know. Uh oh. He's killed the hatchery, and suddenly. What did you do, Lucera? Why did wow. you dance, Lucera? You should have yeah, danced think... when you were in his main. Oh. Lucera trying so hard to break okay. this. Oh, no. Yeah, this is not oh good. He God. dances. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, people are going crazy. Well, and, uh, you know, not that he would have won if he didn't dance, but, you know. No, 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 yeah, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm Bomber, keep on really, I mean, I thought he was going to lose this game, Tasis, but apparently not. Uh, really great timing attack in response to what occurred to him. Um, if he had started his Baneling speed upgrade at the other one, it would be finishing, but in fact, it will finish. Okay, so with Baneling speed finishing, we'll see if he can break out of this somehow. The Siege Shank's going to make that very difficult. And here come the speed banes! No, they, never mind. They were going to come. Queen goes down. I don't foresee this game continuing on for much longer. You no, can't really it's 40 to have 74 one supply. Uh, with no queen. 
Yeah. I mean, you know, contrary That's to the popular of the <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well. Almost takes it. You, yeah, basically does take everything out. You get an aim. I, well, the game will go on. Um, why did he do that? Uh, well, he's it so looks like Lucier is just going to all in in response to this. Uh, you know, he's lost his expansion, obviously. His opponent has way better income now. And Bomber going to lose a few important units here. It's pretty crazy, but if he actually can kill a lot of these SCVs, Tasteless, his economy now is 24 drones against 31 uh, SCVs, and he ends up not going for the rest of those SCVs. Um, that's too bad, because if he had killed all those, seriously. Maybe the game... We have a funny migration of units to the, the 9 o'clock main right you know, now. You know what he's doing, actually? Bomber's checking everywhere. He's saying, wait a minute, you don't have another base, The thing is, you? if... If Lucira sees that and just surrounds and kills it, I mean, that's another step towards coming back. You don't want to have that many units out in the middle of nowhere for... I don't know. I'd rather, like, float something over there that I'm not using. Spire coming now. Hmm. One base Spire. Expanding again, of course. Well, he's going to want to force stem the hell out of Bomber. Yeah, Bomber I don't know has not made any that. starports. But uh, the thing is, on this close positions, the Mutas, I don't know. I I feel like if I was him, I would actually just go Lings and Speed Banes and get Burrow and just try to get lucky in that way, you know? It's uh, just going to be so yeah, hard actually using Mutas. Mutas I is so standard, and your opponent's already got a better economy. If he had the same economy as you, it would be hard to kill Bomber like that. But something like Burrow, you might be able to just randomly be like, hey, I won. Uh well, considering the way that we've seen that all the Terrans pushing today, it wouldn't shock me to see somebody do something like that. Mm. Um, Spire just about to finish. He does have enough for seven Mutas. So that's actually going to be quite a surprise, I think, for Bomber. I don't think he's expecting seven Mutas to fly in his base in a minute or so. The problem is that he doesn't have really Banelings like he did before. So yeah. he can actually just be like, well, I don't actually care about your Mutas attacking my base. I'm just going to go kill your main. Look yeah. at the spread there. Beautiful, Very beautiful. beautiful spread. This is a very tense moment of the game. What will the Mutas end up doing? Oh. Mule, I, this has, I think, been the most Actually, I think he's, trash talk yeah. I've ever seen in a game. He's like, all right, I'm get out. This. Now, if the oh, Mutas... Oh, he's even going to make him run around like that. This is out of control. <laughs> so much dancing. The Mutas, though, hitting his natural. Wow, you can tell, man. These two teams, I think, are going to become rivals. It's like they just keep dancing each other. They're both so angry and want to embarrass each other so badly. I'm loving this, man. Yeah, this is actually awesome. This is like actually two of the best players in the world dancing each other and making mistakes. And <laughs> They're so good at StarCraft and dancing. Yeah. They're really excellent at it. He's got the, I'm serious, these guys got to be careful, man, because there's so many moments where I'm like, they're dancing, they're like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I need to. Lucier has to be very careful right now. There are, are a lot of Banelings out. Uh oh But the Siege tanks, oh, man. This angle should be pretty good for him to take out those Banes. He'll be all right. Yeah, and that looks like that that's going to be it. That should be it. Let's land another mule just to make it more clear. More and more mules. <laughs> GG! GG! Palmer wow. living up to his reputation, taking out Lucia. He's like, no, no. No, no, no. Well, I think out of all the games we've casted at StarCraft 2, uh-oh. He's doing, he's going to do a ceremony, man. He was going over there. I think he was going to go over and slap Nesky in the face or something. But he realized, oh, I have to high-five my team I think first. next thing we're going to see is him throw a water balloon at the team. All right, let's see this. He's going over with someone. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dancing. I think that was Ace, wasn't it? That All was right. Ace. <laughs> Bomber actually didn't do that. Ace did. Ace, you haven't won a game yet. What are you doing? Ace. That's inappropriate. That's wildly inappropriate. <laughs> oh, look how angry. Oh. Like, oh, we have to kill them now. Um, wow. This match is too good. I feel My like brain this, is overloading. This is uh, more dancing than dancing with the stars.
in this uh, better dancing. Better that's dance. For that's sure. for sure. Cooler. That is actually one guy's going like this, and the other guy's going like this. Dancing Both with the stars. Making these big mistakes. Like even thinking about it actually puts me in a bad mood. Let's not talk about it. It's yeah, such actually, a terrible thinking show. about Dancing with the Stars. Sort it's of, like it, it starts to trigger a migraine. All right, and I it, very irritable. What kind of a star are you? Well, I didn't bring my ibuprofen. My brother's a star, so I'm here. It's like I'm. My it's like the lowest is form of trash entertainment in the entire world is Dancing like with the Stars. I'm like this. This is the finest television. You I can get. actually hate that show. It makes me sick. Okay, focus. Let's focus. Talk about. Dude, there was so much trash things. talk in that game, I couldn't believe it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was. There was, like, there was, mules. Like, I think there were. The game kept on going after so many dancing. Like, when you <laughs> dance, it means your opponent's dead. Yeah, usually you dance, and then by then the guy's typing GG, and he leaves. Instead, it was like, I don't know, man. It was crazy. Okay, now, who do you pick to try well, to take down uh, Bomber? Because Bomber. I go with Nest T right now. You go with Nest T? That's it. I go with Nest T. Do you think. Because Bomber's Tarrant, that perhaps it would be better to go with Seed? That is a good point. Whoa. But this big brain of mine. Yeah, Seed has a lot of tricks up his sleeve, but yeah. if I'm betting my life, my team's life on something, it better be at Nest T right now. MVP, bring him last. Right now, the thing is, Bomber is such a scary player. Maybe Nest T's like, you know what, no, put a Protoss in. Maybe, but... I, I, just, have, I, I just, have, like, this weird faith in ST, the way that he loses no games except MVP ever. Like, no, when was the last time a, you saw that I guy think, lose I think they'd both be good picks. I mean, yeah. the real reason why I want to see Seed play is because I have to ladder <laughs> later on this week, and I need to steal some build orders. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, see. who's it going to be? Stand up, ST. I want to see my ST. He's smiling. He's got a smile. Oh, oh it's like WWF. He just like emerges from somewhere else. He walks in from the crowd. He's like, hey guys, I was actually just going to the bathroom. I mean, he like sits see. down. And it's like, oh, never mind. MVP. We get He's picking the game, Genie Taren. Well, we're gonna see tasteless. What? What? Bomber can do against the game, Genie Taren. Let's see. Current champion, number one player in the world. Going up against Bomber, the number one hyped player in the world. Oh, man. This is awesome. Now, presumably, they're going to have Ace as the player to try to take out MVP. I would bet just about anything on that, yeah. Um, now, who do you follow up with if MVP loses? Seed or Nest T? I think it might be Seed at this point, because I can't see why you'd put MVP now and then Nest T. Unless if Zerg comes out for some reason and beats MVP. So, this is just so interesting. This is so awesome. It's so close. So many things. So many banlings, so many marines, so many siege tanks, so many great games, so many tastosuses. Yeah. So many tastosuses. thought that marine books. spread was good. What about tastosus brand spread? It's so delicious. Oh, yeah. That's the kind of stuff you put on your toast for sure. Taldor and Alter. Seven. Yep, Taldor and Alter. Uh, Alter, excuse me. Well, it's heating up. Two Terrans playing on a map with a Protoss name with a Zerg cast. Every time I see the map name, I just I think of a Protoss voice saying it. Yeah. Oh, dead him? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that's, that's my I thought you thought of a Protoss voice. What? <laughs> I'm, not, what? I'm not good at this. Uh, All right. right, the countdown's begun. It's going to be a Terran versus Terran. If there's anybody who can do this, it could be Bomber. But he's against the hardest player to beat in the world. Get ready. This is the GSL team.